Hello and welcome to another Barvember solution which I'm going to attempt to do with loads of fireworks going off outside and a dog that can't decide what she wants to do about it in the room. So, but it's quite an easy one this evening, so let's give it a go. All right, there are 256 red and green apples in a box. A quarter of the apples are red. More red apples are added to the box and now a third of the apples are red. And the question we're asked is how many red apples were added to the box? OK, so let's have a go. In fact, we might just use the different coloured pens. Why not? Although I do try to replicate what it would be like if you were doing the model with just a pen and paper. OK, so we've got red. So what we could do is do a box. I'm going to do a big box here, actually. Well, not that big anyway so that's my red apples okay and I could just do a single line bar but I'm going to do another one underneath so that's my red and this is going to be my green and we know that at the beginning red is a third of the sorry a quarter of the total so a quarter of the apples are red in the original scenario OK, and so there we go. Red and green. Right. This is the whole box in the original scenario. And what we're told is that there are 256 apples in this original scenario. And what we can then see is that this 256 is made up by one, two, three, four equal size portions. So if we divide 256 by four, we get 64. OK, all right. And 64 times three is 192. So all of these at the moment, they're all 64. 64 and then this must be. 192. OK, so what then changes? Well, more red apples are added, but no more green apples are added. That's important to note. And now a third of the apples are red. So we've got no more green apples. So what I'm going to do is draw another box. And let's say actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the green apples and I might as well make it the same size. It doesn't matter. I'm not actually, although I'm using the squares behind just to make my drawing a little neater, they're not relevant at this moment. And what happens is we, the third of the apples are red. So if we divide this in half, we can then represent a portion for the red that represents one third of the total because in this is the total for the box has three equal size portions so again well that's red that's green and we still know that this is 192 okay Right, so what do we know? Well, if this is 192 and this is, a, this, sorry, if this these two are 192, we can calculate the value of each of these boxes. So if we do 192 divided by 2, we get 96, okay? And that is this value here. This must be 96. Well, we know that originally, so this, sorry, this is how many um, red apples there are now in the second scenario after these apples have been added. And so we now know that there are 96 red apples and we also know what, how many apples there were before. We know that there were 64 red apples. So this is our question mark. This is the value we want to find out. So we have 96, take away 64, and that is 
32. So 32 apples were added to the box. So that's our answer, 32. Okay, so nice and easy. Um, nothing controversial there, I don't think. And I hope that helps.